Tatsuma Festival is a biannual cultural, political and artistic event, forum, conference that brings together quite a lot of different formats. We've been doing this now for, for, as European Alternative, the organization behind this, for 10 years. So we have quite a bit of experience. At the same time, it's an event that is nomadic, so it always takes place in a different city. The last time, two years ago, we were in Belgrade, so in a city outside of the European Union. This year, in 2017, we wanted to come to Madrid. For, for quite a lot of different reasons. Um, and um, so, of course, we always work with partners that are here locally. So this year, in 2017, we, we are uh, mainly working with Semos 98, that come from Sevilla and um, who are our partner here for running Trans Europa in, in Spain and in Madrid. But Trans Europa is also an event that took place in many different cities around Europe on the 21st of October, so just before opening here in Madrid. And we had 10 other European cities that, that self-organized events um, under the banner of Trans Europa and um, from talks that were dealing with how do we welcome refugees in our cities to a performance that took place in Finland of a theater group to an opening of a civic participation center. So there's quite a lot of different topics that we touched on. And um, yeah. Yeah, so convergent spaces for us is, is um, I think it, we mainly wanted to allude to the fact that we need to come together as civil society actors across Europe. I mean, first of all, to build what is um, a transnational civil society, because um, we don't really see this happening um, in Europe. We are still very nationally organized. And um, so we need to create spaces of convergence or spaces, spaces of coming together. In Spain, the word confluencia is, is maybe more current or more used. Um, but I think we kind of mean a similar thing. So of coming together of different actors. Also, I mean, kind of thinking across our, our, our immediate surroundings and our, our context. And, and the festival is also a festival that takes place together and in collaboration with, with, with many more different actors. So to speak, uh, the European Commons Assembly that is organizing their uh, a big meeting at the same time at the festival here in Madrid. And, and the European Commons Assembly is also about being a place of coming together of those actors. So it's really, we wanted to have the festival understand as an event that is not just an event that you go to and take part, but that is really an invitation to, to join forces and to, I mean, to, to come together and, and, and make plans and, and, and also reflect on our own practices, but, but leave Madrid with an, with an understanding of how can we both work together, but also how can we work better. So the three main themes that we had for 2017 were, um, I mean, to start with, why we're also here in Madrid is uh, cities of change. So what are city governments that are run by citizens' platforms doing differently? Um, as in, you know, they are, they are run by, by, by citizens' platforms that have come, obviously, from a civil society background. So they are not, um, uh, I mean, they're trying to do things different. They are investing in citizens' participation and in democracy innovation tools. So this is something that we were interested in and understand. Is that something that takes place here in Madrid that is governed by Aura Madrid or not? So what is the differences? So using that as a starting point, but also with other cities, both in Spain and, and around Europe. I think this is quite uh, a topic at the moment that we wanted to explore. So these topics of municipalism and of politics of proximity. And uh, another topic is, is Europe a place of refuge? So are we welcoming refugees? Um, how are we welcoming refugees? I think there is a, a big um, issue around that topic, of course, because there's a lot of people who are, uh, um, a lot of people are dying uh, to trying to reach Europe looking for safety or also just looking for new opportunities. We need to understand ways to, um, to host newcomers in our societies and understand what kind of mechanisms are there to, to both live together and work together and offer opportunities. And, uh, and of course, most of all, respect human rights and, and be a place of, of respect of our fundamental rights wherever, whatever your nationality is and your, and your, and your background. And the third, uh, the third uh, thematic that we wanted to, and that links, and that is also what I, what I mentioned, is the commons, which for us is kind of comes also from an understanding of solidarity. So understanding that we live here in a place of solidarity where we have to practice solidarity, where we want to understand what means a common management and stewardship of our resources, but also of Europe as a place that is our common good. Yeah, so this closing forum or this uh, forum that we, want, that we entitled What Comes After Nation States, what comes after the nation state is, is trying to, I think, both bridge 
those themes that I've just mentioned are the themes of the festival and those four days of activities that we had. So we both we brought a lot of those actors that, that were um, that were here the past few days together and understand those big questions. So how can we overcome? I mean, how can we go beyond the nation state? What does it mean? Both from below, so from cities, from municipalism as a as a new way of dealing dealing with politics and, and what kind of examples do we see here of the commons also um, and of managing our local local environments all to the transnational level. So do we need to maybe a transnational new political party that runs uh, at the next appointment, which is in 2019, where we're going to vote again for the European parliamentary election? So this is kind of a big, uh, let's say, trajectory of the debate. But I think what we wanted to reach um, here with that uh, with that last conference, and and I'm I'm, I'm I think I'm happy with with what happened during those uh, during those four days in the sense that I've, I have the feeling a lot of people engaged with each other. They they came, they they went into conversations, and and I think we created a lot of links between people, of course, who haven't met each other before. And I hope that we that these links will stay and that we. Um, that we create communities of those actors because we have to be uh, strong against the far right and, and the right discourse that is, that is gaining hege hege hegemony. And I think we need to be stronger than that and that can only happen if we, if we kind of strengthen our ideas and propose something better than, than they are proposing currently. And, it's, uh, and we are standing on the side of more complex uh, issues. I mean, how are we exactly dealing with integration of refugees, for example? This is a complex issue rather than just saying no. And, uh, and so it's good to understand how we are doing this better.